Today, we're about to do a hood on this Jeep. I'm putting a carbon fiber hood on there from Black Ops. So it's my first time doing this, so bear with me. All right, so let's get it. As you see, it's stock. It's the stock hood right here. It's not bad, That's this hood. No, it's V6. The hood, carbon hood, looks pretty nice. Better than this, but this is not bad either. But it's going to be changed. As you see. All right, now we got to take this hood off. We need some 13, a flat head. And we need I have to relocate the spray for the water. So I don't know if I have to take these off or they supplied it. But anyways, we got to take off this hose. Let's remove this. First, all you gotta do is back it out and basically push the the whole thing back. Okay, like that, see? I'll, I'll put it in there. Like, like this. Oh shit, my bad. Like this. Put it in there. And basically back it out. Like this. Boom. Okay, now it has something hold the hood. Wild. This is down. Okay. Alright, I'll put this pole here. Put it there. And let's take off this 13. It's one, two, three. It's one, two, three, four. Let's remove this hose first. This is gonna be in a way. I think you take it off from here. Let's see. You said this thing come around here like this, but this too. We might have to go like that. This one, same thing. Okay, now maybe these twist off, probably. Twist off this. Oh yeah, it just pops out. All you gotta do is pop it out. Both sides. Just pop this out. You see? Just pull on it, twist. And okay, boom. Alright. You're gonna have some more to squirt at you. Now, don't forget this thing right here. Gonna need put this in. Like so. It's backwards like this. Alright. Now this is out the way now. It's not gonna stop us. Now nah, it's through the 13s. You don't do it all the way because you know if you're not by yourself, then you don't have to worry about that. Do it all the way with me I'm by myself. So I'm back to stick slow. Okay, it looks pretty good. It's not tilting, so. Okay, boom. To the other side. Okay, both feet are down. Alright, it's not moving, so that's a good thing. Okay, now let's remove the hood. There you go, naked. Uh-huh. Now, let's look at the hood. This the hood right here. Uh-huh. Looks way better than the OEM one. Yeah, that's the hood we're about to change. As you see, these vents right here. I'm gonna tell you about those later. It doesn't come with those. All right, so let's get the car in and slap it on there. Okay, so this hood about to go in this car. You're gonna see a big difference in this with that on. But anyways, like I was saying, these vents, you have to order separate, okay? So if you go down in the description, you will see the part number for each one of these so you gotta pay individually if you go to dealer and get these they're like i think total was like six eight hundred 
eight six eight hundred dollars between there. If you get the aftermarket ones, there will be you know a little bit of gap in there. I had to fix some of them. There'll be some gaps in there. See, like over here. You see some here. But one of them I fixed, as you see, is a brush right there holding it with a zip tie to hold it flat. Should be good now. Alright, so let's take off this hood. You ready to take off this hood? We're gonna take it off again. So as you see before, I took off the hood and I came to find out it did not come with these. So I gotta retake off the hood and try to install it. These are the hoods side by side. Which one would you go for? Would you go with this one or this one? This is not bad. This is not bad. But with the carbon, if if it came like this, looking like that, I'll go with that one. But this, there's some cons with this because rain going to go inside there. It's not going to affect the engine, but it's going to get in there. This, this wasn't that bad. Rain will just, you know, go through it and it's what it is. This one, we'll see. So we're gonna have to swap these over, this to there. Okay, now we have to relocate the squirter because you know, the squirter's on the hood on this one. If you wanna risk it and drill it on there, that's on you. But they're saying you have to mark it here and drill a hole so we could put the ones they gave you. These are the ones they gave you. Squirters. You're gonna basically drill a hole in the near the wipers. I'll show you. And basically install this in there. Okay. So let's mark how we want this thing. As you see, these are the squirters. You're gonna have to basically basically have this somewhere here and mark these so basically this the squirter can just you know attach to it like this boom just like that so you have to mark this how you want it how it's gonna be drill a hole drill a hole like this boom boom mark it up and we have to take these off after we're done marking it okay once you do your mark now we have to remove the actual wiper blades so we can take this off drill it unless you can reach in there which are unless you can reach in there with your small hands doubt it so i'm gonna take off these blades take a flathead move these oh, don't be like me don't break it okay boom pop just like that nice we got 15 16 same thing on this side, I guess. Pin. It's supposed to be popped up right here. Okay, I guess so. Oh, I guess you got a pin. If I head here, it should pop up. This one's not going to okay. There you go. Alright, we got 15, 16 one of those. So it is a 15 millimeter. you know your right and left because these look like they're the same size because some of them one of them be bigger than the other the driver's side be bigger than the passenger but these look the same but anyways okay once you remove that move this out the way now let's remove this You could just get it up enough that you could just get under there because all you gotta do is drill a hole and place them in there okay so let's make this clean as possible let's uh get a drill bit and start drilling let's leave this put
put it up. Don't don't take it off. If you want to take it off, it's on you. But I'm gonna just put it up like this, and I drill and I do what I gotta do. Okay, so I got this drill bit right here. I don't know what size this is, so I can't even tell you. But that was the biggest one in my kit. I know it is bigger, but that's what I got now. Now let's find the mark, and drill the hole, and try to place the um squirter. It's gonna look like it's gonna be flushed here, so let's do it right here. Good. Put this in there until okay, that don't fit, so we gotta make it wider. Let's make it a little wider. Okay, so since mine drill is isn't that uh wide enough, I'm gonna try this. Like this is a uh, extractor. So I'm gonna just go, you know, you see how it gets wider. I'm gonna stop where it's the same size as. Uh, let's try that one. See if that fits. Ooh, a little, little more, a little more. Look at that. A little more, it should sit flush. be the whole thing actually okay we put the whole thing let's see Ooh, just making it let's do it again let's pick it clean Let's, let's do it. I have another one. Let's, let's step up to that one. Okay, so this is the next level up. Let's do this a little more. This is where it stops here. Let's do a little wider. Okay, we went a little wider. Let's see if this drops in. Yeah. Yes, sir. See how flush that is? See how flush that is? Now we're gonna take our screw, basically, and put it under it, right under it. You see where it's at? I don't know if you see. Right there. I'm gonna put the screw in there. This is it. Not put it in there. Okay, we have to also make sure this doesn't hit the wiper. Because you know, this thing be going. The the wiper motor right here. Up up right here. It'd be going back and forth. So Oh yeah, anyways, this nut we put on it. Make sure it's tightened. Use a wrench. I think it's a 14. So yeah, that was a, a, that was a 14. I just tightened it. Now let's try to put this OEM thing on there. hit that but we'll see we have to you know take this wire you know make it far away from this as possible all right so let's try um let's do the other side because this thing looks like it's gonna hit Yeesh. you see how it moves after because you're not trying to adjust this because you really made a big ass hole <laughs> Alright, so let's start the other side. Okay, just like I thought, this thing was hitting. And see, I had to move it up more. I tested it, it was banging. So I move it up here. I have to do the same thing on the other side. Yep, so. Learn from my mistakes, you know? I'm gonna have to put some silicone over here, you know? I, I, I could I could fix this right here it's plastic weld you know and I'll fix that but hey you learn from my mistakes right I did it first so you don't have to do it just put it a little higher and you should be good like right here is good 
Now I'm gonna do the other side and put the hoses in there. Okay, this is it right here. Boom. Big difference. Sheesh. Look at that. Looks nice. But the install, eh, it's all right. All right, so as you see, these are right here. Boom. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that later. Uh, the squirters, as you see, boom. And other side right here. Both works. And then you zip tie so it doesn't hit the the wiper while it while it's swinging. <laughs> okay, yeah. So put the hood on, everything on. Make sure you put the latch on there. You transfer everything over from the hood. Let me show you under. As you see, this is up there. This could just slap on back on there. The, this just go back on there. You just gotta transfer this thing else on the OEM over, screw it on there, and it should go right back on there. And this, make sure it's on there. You gotta use their screws. The OEM one won't fit. So when it rains, I hear it gets stuck in here. When you open it, it will splatter on the engine. So I put some few holes here. You don't have to if you don't want to. I put some holes so the water could just drain down. It doesn't get stuck in here. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to do that. And I put a bag over here because I know here's gonna get wet. And this is the computer. I'm not trying to let the water damage over here or corrosion happen with the wiring. So I put a bag here. We're gonna put something else here, like some rubber piece, custom fit here, so the water doesn't damage anything. Okay, and then other than that, the hood's nice, man. It is nice. Look at it. And that was it. As you see, the beast behind me. <laughs> so, if I you out, let me know. You like and subscribe. Later. <laughs>